A majority of us are not knowledgeable about technical intricacies of these AI technologies. People often form opinions and react based on what they think AI does. This realization encouraged me to study the psychology surrounding AI. We studied public perception of algorithms in legal decision making. We find that people acknowledge some advantages of AI, like its speed, but as people increasingly and more meaningfully interact with AI now, both at and outside of work, now it's time to change our focus from what we think of AI to what AI makes us feel about ourselves. I recently wrote an article for Harvard Business Review magazine with Stefano Pontoni from Wharton. And in this piece, we summarize recent research findings about what AI makes us feel about ourselves. When we look at unfavorable decisions, like your request is denied, people rather feel similarly about the company regardless of who or what evaluated them. And we find that this is because people rather blame the decision maker for negative outcomes rather than themselves. Vulnerable consumer would be someone who experiences limited access to or control over resources. For example, visually impaired, those with lower income, elderly might lack certain resources that might put them in a disadvantaged position when they're interacting with companies. In our paper, we rather adopt a broader and more dynamic definition. And we argue that any consumer can experience vulnerability at any given time, and its duration and intensity can vary. So consider someone who is under extreme stress for graduating on time, or someone who recently lost their job. These people can experience high levels of emotional or financial distress temporarily, which might still clog their judgment and might make them less likely to assess pros and cons of a decision clearly. Our research introduces a framework that we call AID for designing AI-driven service applications. And AID represents the key qualities that an AI should possess, accessible, interactive, and dynamic. Doing good can be already a strong incentive, but empowering vulnerable consumers can also lead to positive spillover. For example, when effectively implemented, these companies can observe improvements in customer satisfaction, brand loyalty, and even profits. AI helps companies achieve their goals faster, uh, cheaper, and more efficiently. Um, but that is just scratching the surface. AI at its core is a very versatile tool and it can be a force for positive change.